How's it going? Jasper from Nemocos here. In today's video, let me show you how I use Bolt.new to go from a design idea in my head to a fully deployed personal landing page. And I'll also show you how I ask Bolt to help me integrate with MailerLite for my newsletter sign up card. Because I don't want the YouTube video to be super long, so I'm going to show key moments during my build process and some voiceover, give an overview of the process and also how I debug problems along the way so that I can go from an idea to a fully deployed app. But on my Patreon, I will put a very minimally cut full build process video. You will also be able to have access to the project file, the source code of this website I built with bolt.new. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So when I started this project, I already had the whole landing page design set up in my mind. Basically, I want each section to be a card. And as users scroll down, instead of scrolling down the page like a traditional landing page, I want the rest of the page to kind of shuffle up as different cards. So now what I'm doing is I first of all describe I want a landing page, talk a bit more about my brand, what I do to help with the copywriting for the initial draft. And then I ask the AI to uh, I tell the AI the sections I want, the interactions, the kind of interactions I want, and give a couple pointers on uh, the designs I want for each card and how big they should be. These are all initial parameters, so you don't have to spend too much time on them. And then what I want is I want to tell the AI I want to use MailerLite for the uh, newsletter service. And that's all I use for my initial prompt for the initial draft. And then I will go start iterating on the initial draft from here. Um, all right. Uh, okay. I'm, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to scroll down here, but it is not letting me scroll down. Uh, I do believe there are more cards down here that I'm not seeing. Subscribe. Okay, cool. A couple things. So the initial draft did not work. All the cards are stacking on top of each other, which is what I want after user scrolls. So the initial state of the page was wrong. So now I gave feedback to the AI about the initial state where I want the hero block to be showing, only the hero cards to be showing. And as users scroll, uh, the rest of the cards will actually shuffle up and be stacking on top of each other. Partial edits, which is fine. Ah. Okay, it is kind of doing what I want it to do, but it's very hard to control. So for example, join my Patreon, join the community. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not clear what it's showing first. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. A couple things, for example, what people say. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, okay. Feedback. So now I'm giving feedback regarding the order on how the cards should be shuffled up and as well as how the cards shouldn't be returning to their initial state, the position of the page on the page um, as they get, as we scroll down the page basically. So what we want is when all the content is consumed, users scroll all the way down to the page, all the cards should be stacked on top of one another. Okay, it is working, but sometimes, um, yeah, so if I'm using like a mouse, right, I do want scroll, it's always gonna scroll all the way till the end, which is not cool. So I guess this is like by design, it is working based on my prompt. Um, now we just need to figure out these kind of minor micro interaction um, bugs. I wouldn't say bugs, um, just user experience flaws that we need to fix. Uh, fix it, okay. So here I'm prompting to describe what, the ki what kind of scrolling experience we want. So what we want is that regardless of how much the user scrolled with one s swipe, we want one card to be shuffled up at a time. And there should be a cooldown in between each swipe so that if the user do a bunch of swipes consecutively, um, they can't 
we, because we do want each card to have enough screen time for user to register the content on each card. Ah, okay. Ah, it is working exactly how I wanted to. Okay, this is kind of good. Hmm. Now, you know, one problem would be on the first card, on the hero section, the users would not know to keep scrolling down. Uh, so what I need to do is to make sure there is perhaps some indication of like you need to keep scrolling. I will show like a, a hint of the cards being there, but I also kind of like how it's looking uh, on mobile. It is a little too... So here I'm prompting the AI to add a scrolling indicator for the user and also made some changes to the button, uh, the floating bottom button to subscribe to my newsletter. Okay. Okay, good. It is working. Uh, I guess what we need to make sure is Maybe test it in a different window. Yeah, I'm gonna inspect it. I'm gonna view that in, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. It, it doesn't show here because it's super long, but when we take into account, for example, iPhone SE, the main CTA is gone once you scroll down the first um, card. So here, so here I started playing around with the CSS and the HTML basically in the inspector panel uh, to test out what kind of design I want and how to fix the issue uh, with the bottom button being below the cart and then I basically tell AI what I wanted uh, with the parameters I have figured out that I want to use. So I'm going to finish off making sure the mailer light capturing works and if that works, I'm going to start showing how I host these. Okay. I'm a bit annoyed that this is using the email icon and this is using that. So I'm going to give it feedback. Feedback. Oh, I've hit the rate limit. How much is it? 20. Okay. So this is a very realistic look on how fast you get the tokens used up on the free plan. Every time you change something, it's actually changing that particular file, all the codes in that particular file or multiple files every time you ask uh, the agent to change something for you, which means which means it's not hard for you to use up the tokens super fast. Part of the design, you're supposed to kind of, you get the aha moment and they catch you on the high because now you can't stop or you don't want to stop. And then they serve you with the upgrade and now you want to upgrade. So I've upgraded. <laughs> let, let me figure out the email capture first. So here I asked AI to give me instructions on how to approach MailerLite, what kind of keys I need to provide, what kind of ID I need to provide. And then by following the instruction, I went to MailerLite, grabbed all the in information I needed, provided back to the AI and the AI implemented the entire logic for me. Um, let's try it. Get my weekly, okay. JJ and my email will be codes and gmail.com. Subscribing, you're in. Thank you. And then on the subscriber side, it should be popping out. Yes, it popped out. So it is working. Um, I guess one thing that I want to do before I deploy it is it API key inside of this component. So I've only called these because I have previous experience building apps with code. Um, but if you haven't done that before, always kind of ask the AI if you are making any um, keys exposed on the front end or the browser side or the client side. You can use all these words and let the AI scan the code and decide if they have made these kind of security mistakes and ask them to fix it. Okay, now let's talk about deployment. So here, let me do a quick note 
on the site is that I am using Cloudflare and GitHub because that's my personal choice. With Bolt, what you can actually do is simply use the deploy button on the top right corner of your user interface. And that way it's super easy to deploy to a usable link that you can share with anyone to start using your app with. Um, but because uh, I want to do version control with GitHub and Cloudflare, I've used that before, I'm more comfortable. That's why I have you decided to use GitHub plus Cloudflare. But if you're new, simply just use the bold deployment stack and that would be the best experience for you, I believe. So where I'm going to host it, I am going to host it on Cloudflare, which I already have an account for. And then the way I do it, it's via GitHub. So on Cloudflare, I'm going to go to workers and page. I'm actually going to create a new page, not worker, create a new page and then connect to Git, which I'm already connected to, to my GitHub. So which means I need to first create a repository to save my code, which I have downloaded here. Let me unzip it. So that's the project file I have got. Uh, so I'm, I need to use these to create a repository on GitHub first. And this is GitHub uh, desktop. You can definitely use terminal to handle everything, but I would like to show the no code way. And if you're already familiar with GitHub, um, then you should understand, you know, this UI is just an abstraction of the terminal command lines that you use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new repository and call that nomo.codes. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, landing page. All right. And then it's going to create that in my GitHub, um, folder and I'll create that repository. Now we are here, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the project files into that Nomo codes repository. Cool. And what I'm going to do is. I see all the changes has come in. I'll be like first test. I'll just leave a random comment, commit, commit that to main. And then I'm going to push it up to the repository. And now the repository is up. Uh, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to refresh it. Basically now number codes has shown up. I'm going to select that and begin setup. So the framework was, I believe, um, react right is here. And then we select the framework preset and then we save and deploy. Ah, I forgot to put the environment variables. Okay. It may, okay. Let me cancel that build. And let's change settings and environment. So I'm going to add the first environment would be, uh, in our code, it has the environment, right? So we know it's going to be called these API key. And the second one is called the group ID. This one, the group ID doesn't really need to be here, but since it's already made that way, I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to copy my API key and and I'll blur this part out later. And I'm going to copy my group ID in. And then now I'm going to save and deploy. So with the Cloudflare uh, repository, it may run into problems. So you just need to wait and see if it builds correctly. If it doesn't build correctly, uh, you would get basically get that um, error code back into Bolt and then ask for it and it's success. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to try these again. And if it works, yep, and it works. Yep. And this is it. This is how I went from my design idea for my new personal landing page to a fully deployed landing page online under my personal domain, nomo.codes. Consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more build with AI kind of tutorial.
uh, we I have a bunch of cursor AI and bold AI videos planned. Give me a like or share or comment if you enjoy this video. Let me know what kind of other projects that you want to see me building with AI. This is Jasper from No More Codes. Until next time, ciao.